Nearly 30 years ago, a Naperville mother started a drop-in gathering at the library for children with special needs to meet and socialize with each other. What started with just chips and pop has grown into a full-blown weekly dinner at the Alfred Rubin Center that continues to this day for the adult special needs community. That's why she was selected for this episode's Nominate Your Neighbor. I nominated Mary Borland because she is an inspiration to everybody. Mary gives selfishly. Mary has been helping people in this community with special needs to bring joy into their life and a camaraderie and fellowship by starting out in a very small group with her son and some moms with sons with also needs. We started having dinners and at the beginning we had maybe 15 young people would come for dinner and then it the word spread. The dear couples that started this have all passed away and so it was going to fall apart and I thought well I can take it on. So I've been doing it all these years and I'll do it as long as I'm able because I don't want to disappoint these people that come. They love it and I know they get a lot out of it. This has grown in 30 years to be anywhere from 30 to 60 people that she, if the food isn't provided, she will personally cook it and bring it in here herself. There's not much offered for individuals with mental illness. Some of them, they come to me like I'm their mother. You know, I've been here long enough that perhaps they don't have a family anymore. And I listen as best I can. I can't solve all their problems, but sometimes they just need someone to listen. Anyone else that would like to step forward and come and help us, you know, they'd be much appreciated. I mean, we never turn anyone away. And, and if anyone has a member in their family that suffers with mental illness and they have no social activity at all, make sure they come and join us. The volunteers from Rotary, we try to all go out and have meals with them sitting at the t different tables. Mm -hmm. It's opened my world to something I didn't understand or know about. And I, I'm so grateful for that. To watch these students come in here from these different schools to help with these activities, it, it, I just stand there and I'm almost in tears to watch because everybody's at the same level and everybody's just enjoying each other and appreciating mm -hmm. it. And it's because of mm -hmm. you, Mary. Oh. Thank you. When they come up and they give me a hug and say, Mary, it's so good to see you again this week. What more can you ask than to know that you're appreciated?